I am grateful for Governor Ducey's confidence in me and honored to accept this appointment. We're all saddened by the circumstances that required the appointment and appreciate that there was only one John McCain. John and I served the people of Arizona together for nearly 20 years. And in that spirit, along with Senator Flake, I will do my best to assure that Arizonans continue to be well represented in the U.S. Senate. The governor asked me to serve for the remainder of the term, and he's made some very convincing points. I've committed to serving at least through the second session of the 115th Congress. I do know I will not seek this seat in 2020 nor any other office in the future. I'm accepting this appointment to fill the seat vacated by the passing of my dear friend because of my sense of duty to the state I love and the institution of the Senate in which I served for 18 years and because the governor asked for my help and because I'm putting my country first, just as this seat's previous occupant did every single day for more than 30 years. For now, there is much unfinished business on the Senate's calendar, including confirmation of President Trump's nominees to judicial and executive branch positions. I look forward to going to Washington and getting to work.